the middle of the ground. Mindcheck couldn't handle it. Caleb Daniel picks up where he left off last week. And he has, he has for most of the season. Collecting possessions Play across half-back. Play on the call as Ed Richards returning to this team. Spots Tim English in the middle of the ground. Promising start. McRae uh, to a one-on-one -on -one deep. And Lloyd had the hands out in front. Takes a very good grab. Braden Sire back in the team last week to Crisp. Brushes off Daniel. Works them to the 50. Hoskin Elliott knew he couldn't fire. But Phillips can and does. And kicks the first for the Pies to level the scores. Chihuahua lays a quick tackle. Side bottom. Tried to take them on. Was given the opportunity to release the handball. But Smith's not. Advantage taken by Brown. Suddenly it's deep to go. He waits. It never got there. Reed seized the moment. Seized the opportunity. And blasted through Collingwood's third. And away they go through Trelaw and Main. Sidebottom was waiting through to Cox. It'll get there eventually, although the handball was to behind him, which meant he had no forward momentum. Thomas, try again from Sidebottom. Oh, Reed read the incoming ball beautifully. To go to Phillips and another. Another for Phillips and another for the Pies. Coming off that topsy-turvy three-point win against Carlton last week. Surges of momentum all night in that one. Guided off the left boot from Dixon to Lloyd. Kick their only goal. Heads to the goal square. Got a one on one. Bailey Williams and suckling from the square. Had to find that left boot and find that he did. To go, he's still in the frame. He's looking to find someone. Varco was a speculative knock on. He didn't really know where it was going. And the Bulldogs are able to clear. Oh, wow. The foot of Ponton Pally and now McRae. Suckling's got Shacky charging inside the 50. Will he play on? Goal was there. Take it. He does. And the dogs hit the front with three in a row. Oh, it was late. I'm not sure wait, that, wait, that wait, wait. comes he's out naturally to Tim well, English, but he made him earn it. No, in the end, I don't know whether he got late hit high court. Oh. Maybe just glancing. Aaron Norton is the oh. opponent of Moore, and he's not getting much of a look at it. That whistle hasn't improved. Lipinski, high ball, Norton soars and takes the mark in the pocket. Ace oh, was happened? going to kick to Cox, but that was covered well by Tringove. So he had to set his eyes further down the ground. To Ray Cox, he worked hard to get back there. Mark not paid. Varco, penetrating kick. Services to go in beautifully. What moves he got here? A little dribbler, a little beauty. In the middle of Marvel Stadium, it's Ponson Pally to Lipinski. It's all go for the Bulldogs. It's all go for Johannesson. Gets it deep to full forward, and Dixon will do the rest. The Doggies are back in front. Gee, had to work hard on the shallow throw in. Grundy can sense an opportunity. There's a goal in the offing. And as a ruckman, Brody Grundy can do it all. Pies all on the move from the stoppage again. Josh Thomas pops up into the square. And the mark is taken again by Brody Majacek. That is one on one ahead. It's still loath to go long, the dogs. Even though Jeremy Howes not out there now, one of their prime interceptors. Oh, well worked for Shacky. Round ball differential in the forward half is stark. The ball did leave a long time there for periods of play in this game, but it's going Collingwood's end of the ground this time. Through the fingers to Reed, back out to Dugowie. The strength, the core strength, and the core brilliance of this man, Jordan Dugowie. Grundy again, side this time, Pendlebury. Knew that danger was imminent, so he got it moving. And Varco does the same. The danger man involved again. And now it's Brown to finish it. Oh. Well, there's a wobbly one on the way out, but they can't take advantage. It's crisp on the march. To side bottom. Left boot. Lace out. Hoskin Elliott goes to Reed, and he's got it. There is an opportunity for Bontempelli to thump it forward. Lord oh! gets the leap. Here's this great mark. This is an absolute belter. Now Moore, who hasn't had much of a say today, but it's touched. 
I'm not sure that anyone realised that. Side bottom does though. Takes the opportunity to drive long. To Goey. Spells danger. It's a hell of a kick from Steele's side bottom. And Reed to benefit in the square. He was set. And the dogs really have to be quicker to adjust then. English to McRae, to Daniel. So much time back, but he can be dangerous forward. The suckling has to be cool. Oh, there's all sorts of danger and possibilities in that. And they're still not out. Grundy comes again, and that's high. high. 23 disposals. What a day. Is it about to get better? What a strike. What a player he is, Brody Grundy. Side bottom, slaps it back to the wing. Reed v Cordy. He's won some big one on one. Oh, De Goey again, just a quick shrug of the shoulders. And look what he's created again. A bounce. Cox, shoot or pass. Shoot the score. The file couldn't get it on the boot. And the siren's going to sound at Marvel to herald another Collingwood win. They had to work all the way to the line, but work they did.